What's up guys? Today we're going to be playing Oh yeah, that's right. Resident Evil 3. Now, the reason why I want to play this well, Resident Evil 3 and not start from the previous ones, which I will do, by the way, is I feel more comfortable with 3 because it is shorter than the second and the first one. And I just thought I would do a week of Resident Evil to, you know, to kind of show the new gen and the old gen if they haven't experienced these type of games to show them you know what's different about the movies and how the games used to play so yeah and I'm not gonna be doing easy mode because I feel like you guys you know already seen people do easy mode and you're like we want to see a challenge and see all the hard puzzles and stuff and yeah so easy is basically for casual gamers because you start off with I think an assault rifle like you just start off with tons of items or well, maybe not a ton but you do start off with items to get you going and if you want the real survival horror type feel do hard mode because you literally start off with no type of items besides you know a gun it I don't even remember do you get no you don't get a health pack like in the casual mode or easy mode you get this health pack thing with three first aid sprays and I don't recommend using first aid sprays because they will ruin your score <laughs> I think you're allowed to use like one and that's it without damaging your score or whatever so without further ado let's jump into hard mode I'm going to do normal Resident Evil Ouch. yeah I just remember mom playing this game surprisingly not my dad it all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. My last escape. The hell just happened to the audio? Okay, well, this is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E9507.
Okay, to be honest, if this was real life, that would have never happened. It just wouldn't. Alright, and we're back. Let's hope the frame rate doesn't go down. I'm trying to bring you guys some content for this game without it running slow. And by God, I think we got it. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so, yeah, sorry I had a freaking configure, a freaking option so this game would run slow. You can maneuver around these guys pretty easily. Just, you know, back them up, take them away from the wall, and take that exit. So, for hard mode... What you'll essentially be doing is, you're gathering up weapons and gear, and you're saving them for the tougher enemies, and occasionally downing zombies to get past them, or killing them. I, I'm saying you can do it, you can go any direction with that. Daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. However, I do recommend you do conserve your ammunition because on hard mode, I think it's harder to find, and it does take more to kill okay. regular zombies. We've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? What a bitch! Sorry, you think you'd want to avenge your daughter and kill as many zombies as you can? We have to get out of here. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Damn, this dude is extremely bitch made. He'd rather starve to death? What a pussy. Alright, so... Hmm. Alright, so yeah, I just remember my mom playing this game a lot. I read those manuals too, or you can just put them in storage, whatever. But I'll, I'll, I'll scroll through it, show you guys what it's like. Oh, that's the map. Game instructions. This explains about various actions. Operations on map, screens, and yeah, yada yada. Alright, so basically it gives you the introduction of how to survive in this game. And... There's quick turns. I can't remember if it was in two, but I'm pretty sure it was. In one, there weren't any quick turns. So all you had to do for a quick turn was basically um, hit your quick turn, I mean your run button, but hit down as you're hitting, or whatever direction you want to quick turn to, and hit your run key as you're pressing whatever direction, like so. See how she just turns around? Okay, it's down, not up, sorry. I lied to you. It's just hold down and you hit your freaking run key and it does a quick turn. So it does take away from those tankish movements a little bit, so it's not as bad. Alright, let's grab this. Even though, you know, you take these anyway because you might need them if you're not going for a good score. If you just want to say, hey, I beat it on hard mode, then, you know, yeah, go ahead, use them. But I think I will stay away from those. They do give you well placed herbs or herbs, 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 whatever you want to say, you know, however you like pronouncing it. Uh, let me see this. Use this, and this is the introduction manual on how to use the bullets. I would keep this handy if you want to make certain types of ammunition. Basically, it tells you, uh, this is the list right here of the standard, you know, how the bullet powders come in, and if you mix them, you get freaking different types of ammunition so definitely keep this handy or go back and look at it definitely and it also tells you if you upgrade or make certain amounts of bullets amount of times or a certain amount of times they do get upgraded so your pistol rounds would hit harder or some shit like that but yeah I keep getting sidetracked from my story I did watch my mom play this a lot. I was entertained, as you would say. I think I was like, what, 10, 8, somewhere around that. And she used to play this game a lot. And I always looked forward to my mom playing this because it was very entertaining. And I was a little scaredy girl. Okay, well, I'm not going to say scaredy girl because I know you so many girls out there are like, oh, that's sexist. But I was a little, yeah. I was definitely scared of this game back then. But I've went back and I've mastered it, so whatever. 
Face my fears, as you would say. Let's put up this ink ribbon. By the way, saves do hurt your score too. So I would only save once. Or try not to save at all even. But for me, I am a little rusty. I'm just now jumping back into the Resident Evil franchise. So yeah. And save uh, your powders if you want to make better bullets and stuff and junk like that. Um, so yeah, it's basically if you're going for a good score, save once at a very crucial moment. I'm talking about when you're at the very end of the game or towards the middle where you know you can pull it off by, you know, reloading the game. But don't use your save somewhere where it's like really stupid, like save right here, because then you'd have to start all over again and collect everything all over again and deal with these annoying ass bosses all over again. Okay, so we got the key. Let's get out of here. So yeah, if people don't know what this does take place during the same time it was as Resident Evil 2, I think, just from Jill's perspective. I mean, because what the hell, why would Raccoon City get blown up twice? It's like, hey, it was zombie infested in the second one. Blow it up. Hey, it's a new Raccoon City. No, it's the same Raccoon City. Except, I don't think 2 ended with the city blowing up. It ended with, uh... Um, 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 shit, can't remember right now. I think it was like a train station type deal. Alright, you can just avoid these guys. They, they really don't matter. Oh, wait, crap! Wait, no, I wouldn't... Oh, damn it. Okay, see. Then you just... Don't do that. And you don't do that either. Let's just wait for these guys to come by. Actually, not Yeah, let's just blow them up. Oh, sh... Okay, look. We can dodge them now. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. That... Death perception. Oh, God. I'm just giving bad examples today. But yeah, you could have dodged him there. I was just a little rusty. It'll get better, trust me, guys. It will get better. Another thing. Yay, you can free roam on the stairs. And the first and the second one, I think you pressed A to interact with the stair, and they would just freaking take their time going up the stairs. This one, you can move side to side, avoiding those zombies. It's the best. I'm glad they added that in the game. Okay, so these guys are basically unavoidable because they're running and taking up all of the space. So what you want to do here is leave or down them with your pistol. But I'm, like I said, I'm trying to conserve ammunition and then go back in. And they calm down, sort of say. They're just, you know, they're a lot more calm. See, just run past them. There is one down here, I think. Yeah, let's try to down this guy. Run past him. Pick up the shotgun. Shotgun. Pick up this lighter fluid too. Or lighter oil, whatever. Equip the shotgun. Take his head off. Just like that. And uh so the shotgun is basically well for I what I think is they put it down there because they know zombies would be camping this door as soon as you came back out. Like a so. So just shoot him. I'm not sure where's the other one. Okay, good, 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 good. They're distracted. So yeah. It's basically to have a safe way to get out. And it's a power weapon. Which is also good. But what I want to do is go back and drop off these herbs. Whoa, 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 whoa